Hey everybody, it's the old soap peasant here again today, and I have real shells in my hand, but in the soap I'm making today, I use shell embeds, and they turned out pretty well, and they look so real. It's funny. Uh, it's amazing what you can do with embeds, and so it's a, it's a, it's a, what's the name of the fragrance? It's a saltwater and driftwood fragrance. And I called it Ocean Potion because the sand layer is actually shea butter soap that I added some dandelion root and a little bit of coffee for color and also for, for exfoliation because dandelion root can be an exfoliant as well. So it's got um, sand dollars and seashell embeds in it and so I hope you like how I made it and I will tell you that the technique that I used in order to get the waves on top is something I've never done before and what I did is before it set up but when it had a skin on top of the glycerin but I had already made the waves on top what I did is I pushed the sides together just a bit because it's a flared mold that I used and so I pushed the sides together a little bit and it made a, a buckle at the top it made waves at the top just from that little push and so I hope you enjoy how I made it and I hope you enjoy watching Ocean Potion hello soap peasant viewers thank you for joining me once again in my goofy soap making adventures. We're going to first put down a sand layer that's going to be made of shea butter soap. And so I'm going to get that melted down. I'm going to get that scented. And I'm also, in order to get the sand color, what I did is I've got, see my new lighting? Ha ha. Yeah. That's better, isn't it? Um, I've got dandelion root powder. I put a little bit of turmeric in there and I also used a little bit of espresso coffee grounds that I, I made and then I dried them out and then I crushed them to a fine powder. And so that's what I'm using for the uh, colorant. But let me get that going and um, I'm going to get this all mixed up and then we'll spray the mold, pour it in, let it set up a little bit, and then start putting all of our seafloor, seabed goodies in there. So give me a sec and I'll be right back. Okay, this may be some pretty funky looking sand. <laughs> the color is, I don't know how to describe it. You can describe it if you use language like that but it's not it's <laughs> it's not not at all what I what I was intending but that's okay we can always correct it with some cocoa powder if we have to so or there's other things if you don't want to use cocoa powder alright let's go in with it and see Oy. that's interesting I'm going to go ahead and put the fragrance in and let's see what that color change makes and get that over with and then we'll know how to color correct it. I mean it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look as it doesn't look as gross as it did before. But it also doesn't look very sandy, does it? Or does it? Where do you live? I don't know. I live in Texas. So it depends on what beach you go to as to what color sand you get. Everybody that lives down here knows that. <laughs> I say let's go with it. It's not terribly, terribly cool, but it's not too hot either. So we have to spray down the mold. Yeah, it's kind of yellow, isn't it? Oh well. It's not that I don't care. It's just that I like things to turn out different, you know. I don't want them to turn out the same every time. And I did do a 
Anyway, where I actually used uh, sterilized sand from Matagorda, Texas. So, and that was a job, let me tell you. S sterilizing that sand to make sure that it was safe. And I didn't use very much, but it was kind of an exfoliant, so that was kind of good. Let's pour it and let's see. This is going to be the floor of the ocean. That's pretty thick. I'm going to stop right there and just kind of see. Because we want to have enough ocean water to be able to see all the goodies through, right? Let me spray that. Let's let that cool off a bit and then we'll start placing the embeds. Get you down close here. Is <laughs> it knocked over? Uh, it's got it's got a bit of a skin on it, and I'm gonna kind of move this layer around to give it a little texture. I didn't want to put any of the embeds in and have them sink down right into the sand part. Um, there goes my clock, so a little musical entertainment for you. I'm going to spray this and then I'm going to set some of these on there we'll start placing them. Let's leave it there and now we'll concentrate on the water and maybe some waves on top. We shall see. Be right back. Well, I do always make interesting soaps, don't I? You gotta give me that. They're always interesting. I have two batches of scented... Oh, I've got one glove on. Hang on. I have two batches of scented clear and I put one drop of stained glass ocean blue color in there. First thing is, of course, as always, we have to spray what we are going to pour over. I'm going to turn it this way. Make sure I spray it really well because I want everything to stick. Okay. And I'm going to spray the top of my ocean water. And you know, it's just a little green for my taste. It's just a little green. I'm awfully picky for, you know, somebody who lives on the Gulf Coast, right? <laughs> but I think I like it a little more blue. But still transparent, so. Unless I know that I'm going for a really dark color, I do one, uh, one drop at a time because you can you can always add more but trying to change something once you've goobered it up and made a funny color you know kinda like the sand color <laughs> it looks more like vanilla pudding doesn't it but who knows you never know what you get until the actual cut it's true alright here we go 
I spray this and I'll spray that. I can't always go as fast as I'd like getting it out. Okay, now we need to spray the top. And I'm going to I have some kale and clay and I'm mixing it with rubbing alcohol and trying to dissolve it as best I can and I'm going to add a little bit to the rest of this blue that I have left. I don't have very much. I don't need very much for what I'm fixing to do and you'll see. Okay, let me keep doing these wispy waves and then I'll show you what we got when we're done. Thanks for sticking with me. I know that the soaps that have steps to them like this, it can get kind of tedious, but thanks for hanging in there with me. So, be right back. Boy, it sure smells sensational. So, I'm really pleased with that. I've used the sea salt and driftwood before. Thanks for watching. Coming up, the cut. Mm -hmm.